Let's explore the waterfall base by LEGO Minecraft. Set number 21134 contains 729 pieces. For the most part, it is an interesting build, but when I was starting to build it, it was rather boring. It took a while to get through all the small steps to actually get to the main build, which is the waterfall base. So we do get Steve, Alex, we get a sheep, a zombie, an Enderman, and a cat. And, um, you know, I like these slopes, the transparent blue slopes for the waterfall. And we got some farms on the side. Never thought about growing my farms like this. And this build does come with a lot of doors that open up. One opens up too. We'll take a look at the interior in a second. This is the only opening in here, and this is meant to slide. Probably really can't see that. This is just a rough to, uh, review walkthrough. I'm not going to go into the whole detail of it, as most people don't watch these anymore. So this is get rid of that nano on the wall. Uh, these are not scripted anymore. I'm just going to do them half-baked. This does open up, and it does open up pretty much all the way there. This looks like we got ourselves a di uh, diamond sword, probably made out of carpet. Three crafting tables. we got some chests in here. Looks like there's nothing in them, so this place is already looted. But we obviously got some item frames with a diamond sword and a fish. We got some torches and stuff. Here's the doors. So here we got ourselves a little sleeping area. Pretty dark inside there, but we have a bookcase and some other stuff. And then here we have, well, looks like ourselves a little uh, furnished room with an anvil and plenty of lava. Now these also do come off too. Oh yeah, I could just do this. You can see more light in there, huh? Well, there's another bed in there. How would you get up there? I don't know. Maybe you have to pull the top off to go in there. Alright, let's take a look at this one here again. I'm going to pop that off to get ourselves some more light in there. Not a whole lot. But honestly, though, it is a nice build. It's, it was just, starting out was boring. Putting the smaller stuff together, like the minifigure, the doors, and all the accessories. But nonetheless, it is a complete build. Now, for durability, um... This is pretty flaky, as you can see, the trees break off and all that stuff. And, you know, it's really no way to grab this here. But at least it's hinged for playability, but it's really not that stable. Now, for parts value, um, if you've seen the uh, parts exploration, there's lots of parts for building a mock. Or just using bricks in general if you're trying to top off a Bricklink store or something like that. If you find this set on sale, this is really a good set to get. Other than that, though, um, if you're heavy into Minecraft, this is a playable set. You can actually play with this. It's not cheap in any way, but um, it's got plenty of transparent windows and such. This was... It is... I'm not going to lie. It's a nice build. It was just boring to start, start off building it. it just too many small things, but I'm glad that this one's done because I got a bunch more Minecraft sets. Now I collect these for one purpose, and that's to get the figures because I want to do a big giant Minecraft theme eventually. So I'm trying to collect like sheep colors. I hope they bring out more sheep and stuff like that. If you find it on sale, it's a really nice build for a young builder, but as far as for somebody like myself who's an adult, I'm an adult that does Lego and enjoys it as a hobby. The ship was, uh, it was okay. It just wasn't my preferred choice to put together.